Hey guys, lovely Sharma here and today we'll be taking a quick look at Windows 10 and why it's the best version of Windows yet. So let's get started. So here it is we are in Windows 10 and as you can see some elements are changed right from the beginning like the search bar and this new notification center you get this notification center to switch to the tablet mode and access all your settings like media connect you can connect your per peripherals and all settings so this tablet mode changes your windows to a more touch friendly so as you can see the search bar is also shrink to this Cortana icon and um, you can also access the start screen which has also become touch friendly and you cannot resize it so if you switch back to the normal mode you can see the start screen becomes resizable and your search bar becomes broader and you can use it as a normal PC so when we talk about a PC what's what's what comes to our mind like production work or uh, a lot of work a lot of windows so this time Microsoft has introduced a multi virtual desktop thing which we can also relate in Mac OS 10 it's there in Mac OS since ages but now Windows is also inspired by it and they've also included in their version so what this can do is that on desktop 2 all my open apps are present on the desktop 1 so if I open something on this desktop it will not show on the desktop 1 so the shortcut is windows and tab key it's different from alt tab which can make you switch between your apps on a particular desktop and if you want to switch desktops just press windows and tab you get this option to switch between desktops so that's pretty handy and um, let's get back to our desktop one and if you are like me and messed up with all your apps you need to pin this app and pin in earlier versions you have to pin another app on the right hand side and then work together but in this version what you can do is that pin an app on the left or right or windows will suggest you to choose an app which are over at the background and those apps will pin to the right and the biggest feature in windows 10 that most people don't you know actually talk about and very underrated feature is that all the windows are actually responsive and if you're familiar with web development you may relate to it that if you increase the size of your window size of your text your icons that also increases if you shrink that it will you know try to compress all the data into the small screen so I think that's the biggest step in Windows 10 because you know in Mac OS 10 all, all the apps are responsive so that you can open a bunch of apps on a single desktop and work with them and that's a big step towards production so um, let's head over to our file explorer and as you've seen this is the file explorer new icons are changed and I want to point to a feature that is quick access all your recent apps or folder that you have you know visited uh, will come here in this quick access tab if you want to keep your history clean or something like that so what you can do is that select this and just remove from quick access and click this and remove from quick access so this is the spartan browser and as you can see you can see the star icon this will make your web page go to the readings list and this will make your web page go to the favorites and there's another feature called the web note you just click that and do anything and you know just share it or save it to your screen another feature in windows Spartan browser is the reading mode so this is how it looks like the reading mode and you can you know focus on the text more than the ads and pictures so um, so I'll show you in a bit how the original page looks like and this is the verge.com a lot of websites are not supported in this feature right now but in the future we will see many websites that are supported uh, like we can see in the Safari so this is the original web page and if you want to read this article you may have to you know struggle with all these animations and uh, ads and also reading mode comes really handy 